Let's do a bit of roving Dan on game face. Who he can speak to in the Coringal Rooms after their terrific win at a wonderful game in the first semi over Somerville. Let, let's see if we can have a bit of a chat to a man who was outstanding. We're doing it, Andrew, we're doing a bit of a raving Dan, aren't we? Oh, no, so no. Oh, just, just a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Uh, tell us about your battles down against uh, Gillis today and, and other opponents. I thought you were outstanding. It was a really tight struggle, wasn't it, all day? Yeah, they got a few good forwards. Um, Gillis, Hogenberg, uh, Fermanis when they were down. So it was pretty, uh, we had a hands full. I thought Deuce did a good job. Brandon Moss did a good job. Um, and our mid put pressure on did a really good job. It helps when you've got a great forward. You can kick to with a lot of authority in Mark Holt, doesn't it? Uh, you can't do, uh, <laughs> you can't kick it bad to him at all. So uh, as long as you get a dance to him. Um, and that was informed. It's, uh, we're really looking forward to next week. Well done, Andrew. Good on you. Thanks, mate. Okay, let's uh, see who else we can get. We'll just head over here. We've got a few of the boys here. We'll have a little bit of a chat. We've got uh, David Hurst. David Hurst doesn't want to do it. Come on. Come on, Nathan McDonald doesn't want to do it. Yes, he can do it. Come on. Come on, Lachlan. Congratulations, Lachlan. Wonderful win today. Must have been delighted with the way you play. Yeah, I'm very happy with the way the boys came out. Mate. It, was, it was a hard fought contest, and I'm just happy we got the win today. And it was one of those free flowing contests that really suited you. you. It was just one of those games where it was basically you get it out of the middle and you try and get it to the big fellow. I mean, it was a, a simple game plan, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. It was just an old fashioned shootout, really. It just it seemed to be goal for goal. And it just came down to the wire, and I'm just happy to we got the win and the boys holding out. And I'm looking forward to laying on next week. Were you a bit worried when they hit the front in the third quarter? They had the momentum, didn't they? Nah, because I think that we showed all day today that. Uh, when we have pressure applied to us, we're able to respond. And uh, none of the boys dropped their heads today. And every time they seem to hit the front or have momentum, we responded. So, Good on you. Congratulations, Lachlan. Let's have a chat to this big fella. Have a look at him. He has got tape everywhere. He has got ice packs everywhere. Good on you, Justin. Your first game of the season. How sore are you going to be tomorrow, mate? Uh, I should be right, mate. You'll be right, you reckon? Be right. Uh, you were great today. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, no, it's good to be back. Good to be back with good win. What was the pace like? I mean, getting adjusted to it after having not been out for a while? Ah, uh, oh, it's all right. I don't, I was, the pace isn't really an issue for me. I can't keep up with the pace. <laughs> Well, congratulations. You've got Lang Warren next week. Should be uh, an absolute ripper against Big Red, so I bet you can't wait for that. Good on you. Well done. Thanks, mate. All right. No worries. All right. Well, we're chatting to as many players as we can get here. Let's get, uh, let's get the skipper. He's always one of our favourites on Game Face. There we go. Thank you. Good, Andrew. Good well done, team. mate. I thought you were brilliant today. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was a wonderful effort. Um, you just had to keep at it. They were coming, weren't they? Yeah, it was. They were coming hard, and I think they probably had the uh, had the majority of the crowd in there because they were bloody noisy. So uh, it was good to get over the line in the end and get a win. Yeah, finals win for the club. So and working on our ball movement. Uh, it's, all about, it's all about ball movement. <laughs> and you know Holty well. I mean, he's a star player. You must have been delighted with what he, he achieved for you today. Oh, yeah. We might. Yeah, I've seen him his whole career and uh, I know what he's capable of and uh, yeah, I love, that's why I'm here, I love watching him play. Well we were going to get him, we've walked all around to get to you and we were going to get him next but he's just walked outside, he's very very smart isn't he? So I'll have to go and try and find him and see if we can get him on. Yeah, he's a veteran uh, with his interviews mate, he's done plenty. Thanks uh, for having him. Alright, good on you mate, thanks Ryan. Congratulations. We'll get a quick one Matty. How's, how's the body mate? Uh, it's not too bad. Didn't quite go to plan today, but um, try and do everything right and get up for next week. Your chance? Yeah, I think I'm a chance, yeah. If I do all the right things. <laughs> Were you annoyed because it was such a great game of footy? Would have suited you brilliantly being yeah. deep forward next to the big fellow today, Matt? Well, he didn't drop many, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> and were you confident even sitting on that bench in the third quarter when some of you were coming you could come back? Yeah, look, they were a great side, some and they threw everything at it and you know, full faith in the boys that they were you know, going to get the job done and they did, so yeah, good win. And the monkeys off the back of it after dropping a couple of finals last year and the pressure was certainly on this week, wasn't it? It's all outside noise, mate, you know, to us. You know, our four walls, we know where we're at and um, you know, we just had to prove a good performance today and we did, so look forward to Langley next week. Well, we want to see you out there, so good luck. Let's hope you're playing next week. Thanks, Matt. So. Good on you, mate. Excellent. All right. Well, we're still... In the Coringa rooms, we're going outside now as we get past Shane Jamison. We're trying to find Mark Holt, wherever he might be. And Buddha will talk to us now, won't you, Buddha? Thanks, Buddha. Good on you, mate.
<laughs> hey, uh, great, great goal today to get your team fired up. It was a, it was a wonderful team performance. But to beat your old team, Somerville, what's that mean to you? Oh, look, it, it's, uh, it was a tough day. Yeah, it's always hard playing your old side, but we've got a heap of respect for them. We had a really good journey. We just fell short in 2015, I think it was, but yep. they're a great side. Great club, uh, had great memories there, made life, lifetime friends. So it was always good to get the win there in, in saying that and uh, look forward to playing on you next week. Everyone seemed to be enjoying their footy today. It looked like it was a bit of a hard slog last week. A lot of guys coming back from injuries, but yep. today it was almost like you uh, had the release valve released, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Just go and enjoy it. Yeah, that's right. The last couple of weeks, are just we've, we've been playing very patchy footy. You know, good footy in stages, ugly footy at times as well. Mm. But, you know, when... When you get in them positions, you really just got to go back to enjoying the footy. And if you don't, then yeah. you start getting beaten. But like I said, it was a good win today. And then we, we really got a six-day break to to, um, to get to Langy. Look good, to it. good on you, Buddha. We'll try and see if we can get big holdy and we'll uh, chat to you yeah. next week, no yeah. doubt. Good, good luck. luck. Good Thanks, luck. mate. Well done, David. Thanks, mate. We'll get over now and have a chat. I thought we'd save the best for last and speak to Mark Holt on game face. I've been chasing you and you went inside. You knew I was coming, didn't you? The big fella knew I was coming. Yeah, we'll call him Mr. September. He kicked 11. Did you feel going into the game today that you were on, that you were ready for a big one today? It's been a little while, hasn't it? Yeah, just I guess I guess the body sort of felt the best it has in a few weeks. So, and um, yeah, we worked on a few things during the week, and delivery is obviously one of them. And, yeah, you can't catch it without good delivery. So. And five in the first quarter, you must have thought I'm on today. It's going to be a big one. Yeah, I thought I'm about due, so I thought I'd come out of hibernation and uh, have a crack. So. And, and, and were you worried uh, in the third quarter? I mean, I've asked a few of your teammates this. They were really coming, weren't they? Ryan Gillis, brilliant at the other end, and just a really good free-flowing game of footy. Oh, definitely were worried. They're, they're a good team, and they work off momentum, and they're big bodies, and more worried about the G-man stealing the show, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think he could kick Three ten? big ones, and then, yeah, they, but... Um, the boys rallied and yeah, the work they did during the week obviously paid off. So. And if you play like that next week against Lane, you must be a big chance. Yeah, definitely. Like, like we said, pretty much where we're letting ourselves down is delivery and skills. Yep. We've worked on a different sort of way to use the football and yeah, we get another crack at them. So. Well done. It was great to watch. 11 goals in a final. Brilliant effort. You are a star and it's uh, been a great pleasure watching you. We look forward to next week, Holdy. Yeah, no worries. Good on you, mate. Thanks oh, for joining thanks, us on Game Face. Yeah. Well done, mate. Get your game face on. Get your game face. Get your game face on. Get your game face. Get your game face on.